Okay, I have absolutely no idea how this is going to turn out. I was at this ramp the other day with skater Kevin Cummings. He came in from the UK just to skate Toronto. And as I was going up this, we were talking and I was spinning backwards. And occasionally I got a little stretch in, but I don't honestly know if I could actually skate backwards up this ramp in one go. What I think will happen will, I'll probably gas out is the first thing. The second thing, there'll be some little muscle that I'm not used to using that'll tweak out and scare me from my future of inline skating. Or maybe my legs will just get so much burn, I'll tap out because I just don't like it. We'll find out. Okay, it gets really clumsy and weird here because I'm thinking about where people are. I'm not looking a lot, and when I do look, it seems to throw me off balance a little bit. Kind of messes with my push. Okay, I've got a little space here, and I decide to give it a little extra juice, and then... Oh, I just disqualified myself there. See that? I turned my feet uphill for a second. So on the uphill here, I do find a pretty good rhythm, but I'm quite tired, so I have a fair amount of difficulty giving myself a good push. I'm losing strength and on the border of becoming a little clumsy. A little fair. I'm saying such bullshit commentary today. And look at this final stretch. It's just painfully slow. I know that I can make it to the top if I don't crowd myself on that wall. But wow, what a grimy experience. I felt like a bit of an idiot going up the hill like that. Oh my god, that sucks. And my grand time... Oh, this is going to be good. 57 seconds. But I will show you, I will show you all. That was such shite. I was terrible at that. So I think I disqualified myself halfway up when I went a little on the sideways. Yes, it felt sublime skating up this at full tilt. I let this roll so you can see the reaction of the couple when I get to the gate. Nothing terrible, just a little more acoustic stimuli that I had planned to produce. Contact made at 14.2 seconds. Where there is failure, there is potential for great drama. And there's definitely going to be a huge upgrade in the way I tackle this hill. I'm going to do it a few more times before I show you on video just how amazing I've become at the backward uphill sprint. Or should I call it a scramble? Well, how about when I get to below 40 seconds, I'm allowed to call it a sprint.